this week, Notion announced a new feature. It's called Ask AI. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. Another search feature in Notion. I'm, I'm sure it's great, but how great could it be? It turns out it's actually pretty great. I decided to go into Notion and give it a test run to see how good it was. Let's see how good this Ask AI feature is because I'm curious, right? So here I am. You guys can see this is the Future Fiction Academy workspace, which has got all of our information in here about Rexy and all of our lab notes that we give to you guys. So I was like, okay, there's a lot of stuff in this workspace. Let me go ahead and ask the workspace questions and see if it can answer it for me. The way you access the Ask AI feature is down here in the right-hand corner. So you can see here, Ask AI, hi, ask me anything about and in Feature Fiction Academy. I'll find the answer in the pages you have access to. So I started with questions that I thought most people would be asking for when it came to our labs, right? This is where it's gonna come in handy for you guys because it'll find it here. The first thing I asked it is, let me actually be in there. How do I construct a mega prompt? Because I figured, hey, this is information that's all in our lab notes. It must be in here. Kind of find all the information for me and give me a summary of what to do. A mega prompt is a set of detailed instructions for a generative AI program. It tells the AI what kind of characters should be in the story, where and when it takes place, and what kind of mood or vibe you want. To create a mega prompt, you need to decide what you want the AI to write, break your ideas into parts like style, character, setting, and plot, and put these details into a document. You can use tags and square brackets for different sections of the prompt. It's useful when you want specific results from an AI. And then it gives you eight pages found that will help you find the information that you need. And this includes all of the pages that are in the FFA workspace. And I was like, this is great. Oh my gosh. It, it can summarize and make an informed choice about what I'm asking for from the mega prompt, right? So I thought, oh, let's ask it another question. How do I promote my book on TikTok? Because I know we have had classes about TikTok, right? To promote your TikTok book on TikTok, understand the platform's algorithm focuses on engagement. Now, this is all information that we gave you in classes, right? So it's going to summarize what, what there was, and then it gives you a footnote to show you which note it pulled from. So you can go straight to it. For practical application, use AI to extract engaging excerpts from your book and turn them into TikTok hooks, et cetera. Here is the link to that particular lab note. Yes, guys, this is amazing. And I and we're not done yet. Because <laughs> I show you what else it can do. If you're writing currently in Notion with Rexy, then you're gonna love this too, right? So I'm gonna go over to my Notion where I'm doing all of my writing. This is all of my personal space. I use it with Rexy. So I've got my writing dashboard, right? Which is where I'm housing all of my stuff from Rexy. This is my Rexy superstructure here. I've got a couple of different series that I'm writing in. Oh my gosh, I really want to know more about the, I was like, I know that my characters went to this Italian restaurant in my book and I can't remember the name of it and I don't feel like searching around for it. What was the name of the Italian restaurant? Let me have type. Restaurant in, I'll just say that Archie went to with her boyfriend and it will be enough for it to find it. Mm -hmm. Il Palazzo. There it is. Tell me what happened at the restaurant with her boyfriend. Yep. It's pretty good. It doesn't hallucinate a lot of things. All right. So far, it is not hallucinated on me at all. It has found everything that I've wanted it to find. I asked it the color of one of my character's eyes because I was pretty sure that I hadn't specified it in the book. I just hadn't. So I was like, what are Garrick's eyes? What color? 
The search results did not provide an exact color for Garrick's eyes. They are described as keen and haunted, but no specific color is given. That's great. I don't want it to come back and say, oh, it's brown because it didn't have an answer. It has done this before with search options that I've tried on other platforms where it just hallucinates the information if it doesn't have it. What you're going to love about this is the fact that you're going to be able to find stuff that you need. You have all of the people who are telling you like, oh, I really want a story Bible. I wish AI did story Bibles. Now you can just have all of your writing in Notion and you can just search it and talk with the AI about these things whenever you want. But let's see here. Where does the murder happen in, let's see, what's the name of this book? In the manga murder mystery that I'm writing. I don't think I even need to be super specific. Yep. Goodness gracious. It's so good. The murder in your manga mystery occurs in the apartment of Akemi, the local celebrity manga artist. Fantastic. See, I didn't even need to say it's in this book. It's possibly in this chapter. No, I was just like, where does the murder happen in the manga murder mystery that I'm writing? It totally figures it out. Also ask it to be more specific. There's no way to in the prompt in the little box to just say just these files. But I asked it, please look only in my colorblind files, which is one of the names of my series, and give me a list of characters. And it only pulled the characters from that series out of my Rexy Notion page. Oh my gosh, that's an awesome idea. I want to try that now too. Can you tell me the characters that are in the manga mystery book? Please only pull the characters from that book. Unbelievable. Yep. I'm just, I'm, I've been blown away all week. I've been asking questions and it's doing such a great job. <laughs> but eventually I think I'm going to put my whole books in there. I will export them from Scrivener and plain text and I will drop them in. Maybe I'll do chapter by chapter. Maybe I'll set up a database for each one of them. I don't really know yet. We'll see how much time I have. But yeah, I plan on bringing everything in so that I can just start using this Ask AI feature as much as possible. Thank you for joining us on something wickedly cool in AI. Um, this is what we do in our lab sessions. So the Future Fiction Academy is eight labs a week. You can come live, you can watch the replays after, you get the transcript, you also get the lab report. So the five of us are the main instructors for Future Fiction Academy, and we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So by sticking together, we, you know, for example, I kind of specialize in open AI and prompt engineering. Um, who here specializes in series writing, novellas and novels? Yep, and yep. And then who specializes in mid journey and all of the artistic stuff? And <laughs> yep. So basically between the instructors, we all have overlapping skills. We invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share, share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye. Uh, uh, take two. <laughs> okay. So. I can't even do it Stop now. laughing now. Stay serious. Stay serious.